Hello, <clears throat> spiritual seekers, family. On this last two grand, 2021, new year. Through it all, God allowed us <clears throat> one more day above the dirt and not below. That's reason to rejoice and be glad in, in spite of. I am coming to you in a slight brokenness right now. But God desires a broken and a contrite heart. Because in our brokenness, flesh and self is laid aside to seek solely um, for what the Lord is desiring of us. And usually whenever I go get into these broken phases, I retract back. But God had given me an enlightenment earlier to give. And um, it slightly um, slipped my mind. So God said, you, you got to go on and tell. But follow my YouTube because I do have a, a, link, a kind of lengthy long a spiritual enlightenment, a prophetic blessing, and how Satan is stepping into the portal and stealing your prophetic blessing. But uh, as God was giving me that enlightenment, um, I was sitting here, and I'm saying, I love working with, I love my job. I love taking care of people, the elder. And um, as I'm taking care of in the spiritual realm, some activity took place. And instantly, an aggression atmosphere came around me in the name of Jesus. So I asked, I was like, what was that? And I had to rebuke some people that was in my presence. And when it all blowed over, um, God said to me, well, God revealed to me that he had created a place for um, earth for man. Because, see, God is not a God of evil. Um, and all this stuff, if you read the book of Revelations, all this stuff was taking place in heaven, in the spiritual realm, before God came down and said, in the beginning, um, the earth was void and without form. All, if you read the book of Revelation, all this was taking place in heaven, so God created a place for man, so man can dwell. And then he casted all that down to earth so that peace will reign in his presence. Now he cast Satan out of heaven. He cast, cast Satan out of heaven. He gained dominion over the earth and hell became Satan's home. And when God began and created man, God gave man authority. He said the works that I do that you shall do also and even greater works than that you shall do. So we have the power to cast down in the name of Jesus. And earlier, Satan came into our presence because I, God, I have been going through warfare these past couple of days and I've been casting down back to the pits of hell. And binding up things in the spiritual realm and in, in, in the mind and, and binding my mind and my family's mind to the mind of Christ and casting down mental illness. And don't you know Satan ran up on me earlier? <laughs> Satan is coming because these spirits that we're casting down to the pits of hell is going down to hell and tormenting Satan. <laughs> and Satan came and said, I'm bipolar. <laughs> Y'all, so Satan said, I'm bipolar. And see, Satan don't know, Satan don't have no power to cast nothing out and to bind nothing up. So what Satan is doing is he's coming and penetrating the spiritual realm into the earth realm, into the natural realm. Now y'all remember when God, when God uh, met the two possessed men at the tomb, and he and he asked the he asked the 
demons who they were. And it, when you ask them in Jesus' name what these demons is doing or who they are or what Satan is doing, they have to tell you. So when Jesus asked the demons who they were, he said, they said legions. And when Jesus cast out the um the demons, he cast them into a, a herd of swine who don't know nothing. So the swine rent themselves and ran into the water to get rid of the demons out of them, but they they don't have no sense. So they killed themselves so the demons still roam the earth. So Satan once dwelled in heaven, a perfect being, cast down to hell, who don't have no power, no authority. He had he has authority to um, tell them what to do but as far as like them tormenting him, he has to come into the presence of of another being and basically put that spirit on another being as Jesus cast the demons into the swine. So that's what Satan is doing whenever like uh, bipolar spirits, uh, schizophrenic spirits, uh, aggression spirits. And these are spirits and stuff that Satan is training up here on the earth realm he makes people bitter and angry so that when they leave this world and they come over into his world now they work for him so like I said God said one time before those who think they're controlling is being controlled and what God said when you cast down they go to the pits of hell and they torment Satan and what Satan is doing, Satan is trying to send them back and put them on somebody else. Because he don't know what else to do. But that spirit, a true believer and a one that has authority, that spirit knows that it cannot come into your presence. So it would basically, like they said, whenever a spirit leaves your house, it'll roam the earth trying to find a place to rest. And when he sees that your house is clean, and if you don't keep yourself in alignment, he'll come back seven times worse than what he was in the name of Jesus. So when I'm sitting here and I and I realize that's what Satan has been doing. Not only that, Satan been doing a lot of stuff. But this is one of the revelations that God gave me that Satan is doing. Satan is coming and penetrating the spiritual realm because some people of true authority has been binding and casting down. Now, within the past couple of days, I've heard some people, some authority, uh, speak to satanic principalities and bind up some stuff. And them spirits is going back to which, where they come from, which they come from Satan, and torment Satan. And Satan trying to get them out of his presence and into somebody else's presence. Y'all, this is so deep that I can go on and on, but I'm not. But I just had to come on. So God said, let them know what Satan is doing uh, because it is others that is you are group you are becoming spiritually yoked with that knows even more in depth knowledge and how to go in and engage in warfare with Satan. Because Satan knows, see, your thing is to see him, recognize him, and call him out. And when you call them out and you begin to bind them up and the other ones see because that's how we work in harmony there's no greater person than the other in the spiritual realm and doing spiritual warfare because when we come together it's doing them as power in the name of Jesus and he don't know what else to do um, in the name of Jesus I glorify God the word of God for the people of God and more enlightenment is coming um, on the YouTube channel. You guys have a life too grand day. Um, a great year. And in spite of um, all that you're going through. And that you will go through. And because of the, some of the people that you're connected to. You're going to continue to go through. Until you lay, lay that burden down. Old wine cannot go in new wine skin. In this 2021 year. Zero tolerance.